Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Got a full step-by-step -step guide tonight, just showing you how to carry out an oil and filter change on this 2007 Ford Ranger, uh, same as the Mazda B2500, and this one's the 2.5 TDCI. Uh, just before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below. We've also got another video on the same model, just replacing the timing belt as well. Uh, but to start with, we're just going to put it uh, up in the air using the ramp. It's a fairly straightforward job to do without. You just want to jack it up quite, quite high on the front just to give you a bit of access underneath. Um, but we'll get it up in the air now and run you through the next step. And just before we put it up in the air and drain the oil out, we just simply take the oil cap off and just pull the dipstick up as well. I'll just make sure, just that way, that'll help the oil run out a bit quicker. So. Right, now that we've got it up in the air, we're just going to get these two under trays down, actually two sections here. Uh, all we're going to need is what you want, a 14 mil bolt and the six of them rolled together. Two across the front there, another two in the middle here, and then just two to the back as well. So we'll just get them out next and we can get the, uh, get access to some plug them. Yeah. Right, now that we've got the under tray down, you can see the sump here. Uh, it's low a bit at the front there and to come around the back the actual main sump plugs just there and you've got what 19 mil socket on a ratchet or a big spanner and we'll crack that off now and drain the oil out it's got the sump plug out there they have a little copper washer on them as well this one's in pretty good condition so just going to refit this one tonight. Sometimes that's a bit crushed up and mangled. You really want to be replacing the seal at the same time. I'll just have a look. I mean, if I've got one, we'll actually just pop one on as well. So. And once you've got it draining, you just want to leave the um, leave the oil draining for about five ten minutes, and then we can refit the sump plug. And um, the torque settings thirty to forty newton meters. Well, we're leaving that draining now. I'll just show you. Um, just come up this side here. Normally sort of easy to access around the back looking up and um, just up the side of the gearbox there that's where the oil filter is located um, so just hopefully you might be able to just get that off by hand if it's um but if it's too tight we're just going to get a filter wrench tool on it i'll put, put a link in the description below to some of the filter tools that you can get it can be quite handy bits of kit and um, we'll have a go at getting that off and see how tight it is So that's the old filter out there. It's actually come off real easily, to be fair. You, you often find that a lot of people will do them up far too tight and you have to get them off with a tool, but normally I was going to use something like this as a filter wrench tool to get them off. So um, they, they are quite handy. I've got to be honest, 90% of the time, they're too tight to get them off by hand. But so luckily I did just get that one wound straight off tonight. Well, you're all still draining. We've got the new filter. I'll put the link in the description below to the part number where you can get one from. And before fitting it, all you want to do is just get a little bit of oil and just run it around the seal. Just make sure it goes on nicely when you refit it. And uh, just to tighten it up, you just really want to do it about as tight as you can by hand. That's it. And just see the directions and arrow on it there to show you that it's clockwise to nip it up. So that's a good nip by hand now. Next thing I'm going to do, just got some brake cleaner in the sprayer. Just going to give it a quick wash down. It's just nice and easy. If you just wash it off, it just makes it a bit easier when you've done it all and you're running it up, checking for any leaks. If it's nice and clean, it's just easy to make sure that the seal hasn't split and definitely ain't got any leaks. Oil's been draining for long enough now, so I'm just going to refit the sun plug. I did actually find a new copper washer, so I've refit it. we're going to refit it with a new one tonight. And um, using a digital torque wrench, don't have to use a digital one, anyone will do. Um, but I'm going to set it to 40 newton meters. Uh. 
And then I'm just gonna give it a quick wash off with some brake foam. Uh, so that's the sump plug all nipped up and washed off as well. Again, that just makes it a bit easier to check for leaks when we're running it up. Um, if, you haven't, if you're not using a torque wrench, 40 Newton meters is just a, it's quite a light nip really, not not too tight. A lot of people over tighten sump plugs and damage the threads, but just a light nip really. Now that we've done that, we'll lower the vehicle back down and get some oil in it. Uh, run you through the quantities and what spec you need to fill it up with as well. So now that we've got it down, I'm just going to fill it up with the engine oil. And you want seven, from, from MT, you want seven litres of 5W30 fully synthetic. Now that we've filled it up with seven litres, I'm just going to strike the engine up, just run it for about 10 seconds, and then we'll turn it off, let it settle, and um, really what we're leaving it on level ground, and let it settle for about five minutes, and then we can check the level on the dipstick. We'll just strike it up quick now. It's now been five minutes, so we'll just check the level. And I'll just show you on the dipstick. Um, and just see, try to get out of focus. Yeah, you've got an F for full on the line, and the line there, and an L for low as well. So I'm just going to dip it down, and I'll be quite happy with it anywhere from halfway to the full, really. Done that, yeah, you can just see we're about three quarters of the way up the stick there, so about perfect that really. I'm just simply uh, fit that now. In fact, that all I'm gonna do now is just leave it running, put it up in the air. I'll leave it running for about five, 10 minutes, so I'll just keep an eye on it, make sure everything's sealed up and just refit the two under trays. And that's all the filter change done, so quite a straightforward job on these really. Uh, if you like the video give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to check out the timing belt video as well but yeah thanks for watching